here we are again. <laughs> it's still not pink. Give it time. You just never know. This face, I did a Facebook Live post with this earlier as there were people saying, come on, I want to hear it, I want to hear it. Well, this is a very unique instrument. I'm going to cut this off here to keep the grounding problem quiet because, yes, like some of these, it has a ground problem. What this is, this is a late 74 4001 Rick, and you'll notice it looks a little weird. It's maple glow, it's got the nickel clusons, it's got a brass nut. These pickups, there's one under there too. It's hard to see with the cover on, but there's one under there too. These are DiMarzio Model G pickups. They are no longer made. They're pretty much hard to find. Somebody got it in their mind that they wanted to build a rick with this. So they did this, and instead of doing the standard rick toggle switch with maybe a few coil taps or whatever, we've got four toggle switches that I'm assuming, because even though it came with instructions, it doesn't say what went where. So we're going to go through and play with the toggle switches and twiddle the knobs and do all that to see what it does. It is a very aggressive sound, as you can tell, coming into this video. As always, I've got it going through the Sans Amp Bass Fly Rig into my special little Ampeg Monster behind me. One of these days, the big Ampeg Monster is going to come out and it's going to scare each and every one of you. So let's go through this guitar and we'll just kind of play around and see what we have here. There are some crazy things in here. There's some different sounds. So again, as far as I can tell, after reading the instructions, that at least two of these are coil tappers and two of these are series parallel. Which one's which? No idea. I would guess, because we go volume and tone for each pickup on the rig, that they would go this way, but I'm logical. So I guess we're just going to try it. So it's going to be a little noisy because of the uh, grounding problem, but let's just give it a shot anyway. <laughs> going on here is all four switches are up everything's dimed okay so let's just go through I'm gonna start I'm gonna start plucking switches okay that's what that one does let's move that back up we'll push this one down That's what that one does. Up, down. Not much difference between those two. Back up, put this one down. Okay, so now let's do something fun. Let's push them all down. So there we have it. Now, I've also noticed the pots are a little scratchy. So if I move these around a little bit. What I just did was I shut the back pickup off. Okay, so let's turn it back on. Let's turn the front pickup off. Okay, so front pickup off. Now let's turn the tones down. We're going to start them. I'll just do them both. So again, now if I flip them all. So again, there's a lot of tone variety here. Okay, so let's crank that one back open. Okay, so again, everything's up. This is the uh, neck pickup on tones full on. Okay, so that's what that does. And the back. Let's turn the front one down. Okay, 
so that's what that one sounds like. Pretty aggressive. All right, so let's do something else here. Let's try this. On the uh, Facebook video, I did this little... Uh, Everybody know that song? Okay, pretty aggressive, but kind of mid-scoop, shall we say? Let's just play around. So it still, it still has some of the characteristics of a Rick, but there's some things missing. So I'm going to dig into it a little bit. So this is what this bass does for now. The next time you see a video of this bass, it's not going to have all this. It's going to have rig pickups, new pick guard, and a three-way toggle switch with everything functioning like it should, including the Rick of Sound. The grounding issue will be handled, and there you have it. I will tell you, the neck on this thing is super thin. For those of you who have played the 60s Ricks and you know how skinny the necks are, this is like that, which means that at the bladder sander, they must have been early on in the day holding this thing up to get this neck profile so skinny. One thing to note, it's not symmetrical. So whoever did it, and I will dig in there and find out and see if our doctor or one of the others did this guitar. Uh, the neck is asymmetrical, so there was actually a little more emphasis placed on the treble side as opposed to the bass side. So it's all good. So top to bottom with a brass nut and all this craziness, doesn't sound too bad, but again, it's not a real Rick without the Rick stuff. Sort of, it'd be like putting the Duncans in here. Sort of, but not really. So until next time, enjoy this video. If you have questions, comments, etc., etc., post them down below. Uh, when the pickups come out, they will be going up on the chopping block. So if you are interested in DiMarzio Model G pickups, they're discontinued. They came in all the 80s bases from the Kramers and so on and so on. Here's a set, and they're pretty clean. So until next time, play some bass, have some fun, rock and roll, and let's funk on.